Hello and welcome back to the fourth section of Articulate Storyline training series. In the previous videos, we have seen what is Notes Panel in Articulate Storyline. In this video, we will learn how to add and format content in Notes tab. As we have seen in the previous video, to access Notes tab, we can click here and under the Notes tab, we can either type the content or copy and paste the content. And if we import a slide from Microsoft PowerPoint which has notes added in it, the text from the PowerPoint notes will appear in Articulate Storyline Notes tab. If we look at this interaction, we have four tabs and each tab displays content when clicked. Before we start adjusting the layer properties of this interaction, let us understand how this interaction works under the hood. In the base layer, I have placed four rectangles and then I added a trigger to show a particular layer when clicked. If you look at rectangle 2, it is attached with a trigger to show layer trial close on click. Currently when I click a tab, it stays open for the rest of the interaction, even after I click the next tab. Instead, I want each tab to close once another tab is opened. So let's go back to the slide and make some adjustment to the layer properties. Here is the slide layer property and we can enable the option hide other slide layers. This will automatically hide all the other visible layers in the slide except the base layer. Let me enable this property for the other layers as well. When applying a common property to multiple layers, follow this method to save time. You can simply hold Ctrl or Shift key to select multiple layers and then open the layer properties to make changes. This method will apply the changes to all the selected layers in one go. Ok, now let's quickly preview and check if the interaction works as expected. So as you can see, whenever I click on a tab, the other slide layers disappear automatically. But the objects from the base layer will remain visible on the screen. This is because we enabled the option hide other slide layers, which will hide the slide layers without affecting the objects in the base layer. Now for some interactions, you might want to hide the objects in the base layer as well. For instance, in this interaction, when the learner opens this layer by clicking on no more button, I want to hide the objects on the base layer too. In this case, let's go back to the slide properties and enable the option hide objects on base layer. Let's preview again. So as you can see, when I click the no more button, this layer shows up and the object from the base layer disappears. And when I close this layer and return to the base layer, Objects on the base layer appears automatically. Next, we have the property hide slide layer when the timeline finishes. As we have learned in the previous video, every slide layer has its own timeline. We can change the duration of a layer and make objects of that layer to appear at a specific interval using this layer timeline. So, in some interactions, we might want a layer to disappear automatically after a specific time. For example, let's go back to our previous interaction and this time I want each tab to close automatically after 2 seconds. To do so, I can go to each layer and set the duration to 2 seconds. Then select all the layers and enable the option hide slide layer when timeline finished. Let's preview again. This time, if I open a tab, it should disappear automatically after 2 seconds. So that's how you can use this property in your interactions. Next, we have Allow Seeking property. This property is related to the seek bar of the course wherein we can control the playback of the slide. In some cases, we might want this playback functionality inside the layers as well which we can implement using the property allow seeking. By default, it is set to automatically decide, but you can obviously change it by selecting yes or no options from this drop down menu based on the requirement. If you select yes, then the playback functionality gets activated inside the slide layer. 
and if you select no then the playback functionality will stay disabled but the seek bar will still be visible what happens if we leave it to automatically decide then storyline will allow seeking if you have enabled any of these options 1 hide objects on base layer 2 prevent the user from clicking on the base layer 3 pause timeline of base layer we will learn more about these three properties in the next video with this we have come to an end of this video i hope you have enjoyed the session